fem flade flødeboller på et flat flødebollefad. Danish tongue twisters, there we go. <laughs> Do it. Do it again. Try that one on for size. <laughs> What is it? Fem flade flødeboller på et flat flødebollefad. Nope. <laughs> What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> What does it roughly translate to? Uh, Nothing. It's fucking made up fucking bullshit. <laughs> It's a bunch of made up bullshit. Made up bullshit. <laughs> made up bullshit. Dare. How dare? Like five flat cream buns on a flat cream bun tray. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost a tongue tie. That tank. sounded naughty. <laughs> That's a cream Let's bun. That back. It didn't sound. Biscuit. Or cream puff. There's a puff. lot of cream and a lot of girls. I'm just saying. <laughs> maybe cream. Maybe cream puff. <laughs> oh no. Welcome to the Streamless Podcast. Where today with me I have Josh. Did you know that jizz is just high fructose porn syrup? I did know that. Wow. <laughs> Cordelia. Friday, I went to horny jail. Nice. <laughs> And Renvy. Sweet Jesus. I'm stuck with a lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm lazy. And I like sadness and bread. <laughs> bread well, or being bread? No, never mind. I'm, gonna fin- no, I'm not going to. No! Wow! Porn syrup, sit down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Where's oh, the phone? Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, it's season fucking two, guys. Funniest thing was, is I had something there for like my opening, but he said <laughs> porn syrup, and my brain was like, delete. <laughs> so I'm like, whatever I had, it was just gone. I was like, oh. We had a good okay. run. <laughs> and my brain just kind of did the whole, oh, it fits with mine. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's pretty great. Lord it's pretty mercy. great. Y'all need help. Is this the porn episode? Is this how we yes. start <laughs> season two? I mean, this is the, the Valentine's Day, the cheap candy the day after day. Uh, we need Careless Whisper to be Martin playing in the background right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right? DMCA, it's a like... Okay, we have... We, none of us have careers in, in music later. No, and that is no, not no. going to line up. <laughs> it's not. It's going to be great. It'll yeah, be, yeah it'll be great. It's uh, the editor is going to make it work. Yeah, make it work, editor. We got make it. Make it work. <laughs> <laughs> God. <Yeah>. Curveballs. <laughs> so it's been a whole year since we've seen each other. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's become a new year since we were all gathered in the same place. That's, That's true. true. That's true. That's true. Okay, that's been a minute. So, of course, we come back on the loving holiday of the year. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Love's so. in the air. Getting hit by Cupid's fucking arrow. Like. Uh, right? <laughs> right? Um, but no, like, I feel like if you were... If if you were, I'm gonna jump around a little bit here. And we had some stuff we'd fig- we talked about, but uh, dating. Okay, I'm just gonna jump to that for a second. Dating. Oh great. Okay, we're getting into that. No, 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 no. I want to talk about it because I feel like if you're, it doesn't matter if you're new or old, but like around Valentine's Day, it feels like it's on fucking steroids. And you're oh, like, yeah. okay, like, and the thing I'm mad, I'm mad about, right? Because I've 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 been in a relationship forever now. Um, You don't necessarily want to have the like the pre-fix hundred dollar a person meal. I want to go out someplace nice, and not spend my retirement fund. Um, I would like to just go out and get a nice meal, call it a day, and it's just like, oh, they they automatically bring your champagne to your table, and you're like, well, shit, that's fourteen bucks. Like you just start thinking of, like all this stuff. You're like, I love you, just not that much. Like I want to like you know, let's temper things. We got a roof payment to make. I mean, like there's things where you're just like, you don't need to, you don't need to go that far out. But right, like, right. I feel like my perfect valentine's meal is about 14 bucks for two people <laughs> does it come from a drive through or a fast food menu a hot dog stand oh, yes. <laughs> i'm like Boom. it's like honestly just take me to olive garden like no. listen those breadsticks though no no no. i'm gonna back josh up listen josh one day we'll just go it's yeah. fine I'm, yeah. i'm good with that the breadsticks actually you know what? i'm taking simon too because this car of an ass would just be crazy there <laughs> I'll be sitting out in the car. 
we'll, we'll throw her some salad occasionally. Like, here you go, leaf. We'll bring you like a personal pizza. It'll be fine. It'll uh, be, too it'll many be carbs. <laughs> you get top overload just from watching us eat breadsticks. <laughs> We're all like drooling from the mouth, and Cordy's just like, I can't. I can't. I can't, you guys. I can't. <laughs> so, the reason why I mentioned it is because I feel like if you're newly dating, like, talk about a, a lot of pressure, right? Like, Valentine's Day, you have to kind of, I think, sweetest day too, right? But, like, Valentine's Day is definitely more known. I think people don't, like, forget it as often as they would maybe, like, sweetest day, but, like, holy crap. Mm-hmm. That's what a lot day? of pressure. Sweetest Day? I think it's in October or something. Yeah, I got married on Sweetest Day by accident. Not married on accident, but, you know, Sweetest Day happened to be the day I was getting married. Is it? Well, then you know. Is it October? Yeah, it's October, but it's not a set date. It's like the third weekend. The third Saturday. Valentine's Day is always the 14th. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. but Sweetest Day is like the third Saturday or something. I have never heard of Sweetest Day. Me neither. In my life. Oh, good. Oh, well, all right. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. You're, you're not missing shit. It's fine. Okay. Today we learned. Uh, don't, let yeah, anybody, today we learned. don't let anybody guilt you into, oh my God, you remember Sweetest Day? They aren't worth it. Let them go. Um, right. The, but I feel like Valentine's Day is is a hard day of dates, but also kind of an interesting day of like telling people you like them or you have a crush on them. Because I remember being a kid and having those um, foldable Valentines. You'd like oh, put yeah. in people's lockers or in their boxes. You may not have had this, Simon, but at least over here, it was a huge thing. You get, oh, no, like, from CVS or, like, whatever drugstore it was or Walmart or Kroger, these cheap-ass, flimsy little Valentines that say, like, you're the best or, like, I heart you or whatever. Something, like, generic lovey-dovey. And uh, you would say a to and from, and you would just sign your name and put it in, the, you know, someone else's box and... The ones, I don't know, for me, would be like, oh, I love you. You're like, oh, who's this from? Oh, James. Oh, hi, James. I love you, too. Yeah. One, exactly the same. Exactly the same one. Oh, Matt, I love you, too. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> all these little ones, when I feel like they would always be like someone who would kind of, like, profess to somebody secretly, you know, like, hey, I kind of like you. Never sign the thing. And you're like, this is really irritating. Like, who are you? Just say it. But, like, you know, back then, you're shy as shit. Um, but I'm like, I was trying to think of, like, that's that was probably... One of the things for the July or for the July. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. 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 I fast forwarded. I don't even care about that. Time anyway, is so relative. I'm ready for 2022. <laughs> <laughs> for Valentine's Day. Jesus Christ. Um, I feel like that was probably for if I had to think of anything that dating wise would suck and probably cringeworthy about crushes would probably be that day. You guys got any stories yeah. or anything like that? Yeah. You got a story, Josh, or? Are you just uh, agreeing? I, I was kind of agreeing, but now that I think about it, I kind of do have a story, I think, because it was like a similar situation where like someone, I think I was like in third grade, second or third grade, and we like, we made like a craft like mailbox thing mm-hmm. and yes. put it put it on the back of our chair. And yeah. then people oh, delivered the, the Valentines to your, to your desk. And then I got one that like, instead of it just being the whole like from this person to this person or whatever it was like i actually really like you no yes. name yes i hate that <laughs> yeah. yes. and then and then uh but like the handwriting was kind of um like boyish i think so i was like at the time not really knowing who i was at the time and not knowing that like i like boys or whatever um i was like I want to figure out who this is, but if it's a boy, what do I do about it? And so yeah. I went up to I went up to who I thought it was and showed it to them, and they were like, "No, dude, it's not me." And it was so <laughs> awkward because I, I, I like part of, part of me had hope that like it, it was, was that person. Oh, yeah. I hate that. Oh, yeah. like, like, oh this feels yeah. oh, poor awkward. baby. Because at the same because yeah. at the same time, it wasn't that like it wasn't so much that I liked him. It was kind of like because I knew I was kind of different at the time, so it was more about like, is this person like me? You know, but I, but like at the time I didn't know that that's what that was. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I was just thinking I was like you know delivery stuff real fast. I also remember that like my high school and it's funny because I the more I think about it, we were kind of mean girls in the sense that we would have people come in and deliver stuff in high school oh, for yeah. Valentine's Day. Oh, like the you candy could, cane thing. Yeah, but you could yeah. buy you could buy like 
flowers. You could yeah. buy yeah. carnations. Yeah, we did that too. And they yeah. would go around and deliver carnations, and you were always like, "Oh, that's so awesome!" And then like, when well, you didn't get one, you were like, "Uh oh." Fuck yeah. you too. Fuck you too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, hand raised here. Yeah. I'm a yeah. Uh, But I was like, oh, okay. Four. Mm, you sleeping with all of them? Like, you know, oh. <laughs> like, like, oh, you're the Aaron Samuels of the class. Look, I can see. <laughs> like, this is working out well for you. You're saying, but your hair does not look sexy. Pushback. Right. So. right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's like I think we like craft box. So I'm like, oh yeah, high school. They did that shit too, and it was a little bit yeah. more awkward. Yeah. What's your story, Cordy? <laughs> um, it actually wasn't Valentine's Day, but it was an admission to a crush that I liked mm. them. And yeah. this was sophomore year of high school. Dude was a senior. Like, what? me and one of my friends actually had a, like, secret code language. You know, it was just an easy one-to-one cipher. You know, A equals this symbol, B equals this symbol. So, like, I wrote a note to this dude, like, I was friends with him anyway, so, like, we pass notes all the time. I wrote him this note, and at the bottom, I'm like, hey, here's a little fun puzzle for you. And I wrote, you know, my admission of, you know, I don't think it was undying love, but, you know, you know, I'm like, dude, I fucking like you or something. I don't it's been so long. That had to have been so painstaking. I can only imagine the anxiety. You're like, oh my god, women freak out about this shit. Dude. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, but we're like, <laughs> so, oh god. so you know, in between classes, I pass it off to him, and I'm just like, fuck, that was a mistake. Yeah, I just did that. That was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Like after, you know, like I'm sitting in my next class, I'm like, mm, what the fuck am I doing? Why? 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 <laughs> like freaking the fuck out. So like. It wasn't until the next day. Apparently, he had sat down with a friend, and they figured that <laughs> shit out together. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. So it wasn't like, I... So, so not, only, yeah. not only did he find out, and it wasn't reciprocated, he, guy's oh. gay, so wasn't oh. out, wasn't out oh. at the time. So, mm. like, that's fine. Like, looking back, perfectly fine. At the time, I was crush but not only did he yeah. now know my feelings for him his friend did too <laughs> oh my god i, I just oh. realized i you know i told you earlier i didn't have anything for this really mm-hmm. i do but it was such a dark spot that i blacked it out of my head for like so oh, long oh no <laughs> give us the tea so, so yeah, tell us the tea, spill the tea, I, I, tea there's, a, there's a there's a there's a um there's a highly recognized musical camp in Michigan called Interlochen. Mm. And it's uh, in the northern part. And our high school every single year had a week reserved there. If you were in choir, band, whatever else, I was in choir. And so every year you went for a week for intensive training. Right. And so we were in a, you know, I was in a cabin with other girls and there was a night where it was just kind of like note night, and I forgot all about this because it was the worst rejection I've ever had in oh. my life. Um, oh. So we're in; it's already it's already bad when a group of people is involved. So when it didn't trigger until you said he was with his friend deciphering the letter, and I was like, "Oh no! I, oh my god! Flashbacks, <laughs> numb." Um, so he's a uh, he's in the boys' camp, and I'm in the girl or the the whatever cabin, and I'm in the girls' cabin. And we're all passing notes back and forth. And I'm like, you know, I kind of like this guy's name was Jeff. And I was like, I kind of like Jeff. And I was like, but I don't, I don't know. He was kind of nerdy and outsider And I was like, okay, you know, like if anything, you know, he'd be lucky, right? <laughs> 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 oh, God. <laughs> no, it would be I, if I were lucky. So I, the girls are sending off little crush notes back and forth. And like the guys are responding in the usual high school guy way. Cool. <laughs> you fucking assholes i hate you yeah. one lining son of a bitches you fuck with us so bad anyway still like that so Let's be real i right so i said something i was like i, I kind of like you and he was like oh hey uh yeah i don't but we're all reading them <laughs> oh to no the group. and i'm in this crowd of girls being rejected and like they're being all real nice about it from what i can remember but it still it was like Oh, it was in front no. of everybody. It's in front of everybody. Yeah, that I had to then hang out with the rest of the week, and oh, we had God. to we had to chill and train together and eat together and like do mm-hmm. activities together, like because of course I shot I shot my shot on the first day because oh, why no. not? It could be you know a night in paradise for the rest of the week. I don't know what I was thinking. Could have been a summer of romance. 
it was horrible. It was horrible. I don't know what was worse, whether or not the fact that he said no, or that the fact that also my ex-boyfriend was in his cabin as well. Oh. So that was Oof. an added layer of stuff. So I'm just like, ah. Oh. God damn. Yeah. Well, now that that's back out, I'm going to need some <laughs> trauma counseling for that <laughs> shit. <laughs> But I was like, oh my god, I totally forgot about that. But yeah, that was my most cringeworthy, for sure. Public, people involved, it's weird. (laughs) Anything for you guys? Uh, Our silent men down there. Are you just going to say cool and call it (laughs) one-liner? I I used to be, like, really confident about stuff when I was younger. I don't know what happened. Yeah. So I never really had awkward, cringeworthy admissions in the sense that I would just walk up to someone and be like, "Hey, I like you. Do you want to be boyfriend and girlfriend?" <laughs> and they'd be like, "No," and I'm like, "I." <laughs> <laughs> they just said, "I like no big deal." <laughs> Off to the store. Like, yeah. All right. Oh, the I next know. One. Oh my gosh. <laughs> On oh, to the next that's game. Funny. And if, and if oh, I liked the girl and she was like, yeah, I'd be like, all right, that's cool. What do we do now? I haven't thought this through. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like nobody did, though. Don't feel bad. You were like, hey, do you want to date my wife and girlfriend? And you're like, yeah. And you're like, cool, 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 cool. And then your brain was like, fuck, emergency <laughs> yeah. meeting. What do we do? <laughs> emergency. Ah, it's like, what does, that even, what does that even mean when you're that young? You know what I, I mean? Know. Yeah, I yeah. Because it was like yeah. super casual. I may have had girls because I, I don't know but i've grown up in a in a family where you know saying i love you is very common mm-hmm. so point where it's just like have a good day i love you like oh that's so great i love you so whenever someone said i love you to me my brain just registered oh they like me <laughs> i like you too i love uh, you too yeah and then just yeah. going on with my day <laughs> You were like, perfect, perfect, perfect. Catch you later for some more love. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there's some, there, there might have been <laughs> girls out there who's like, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever, I have an added question. We didn't, <laughs> we haven't talked about it, but it was kind of a side subject to it. Did you ever find out later someone liked you in a previous time and they didn't tell you until like, way later Uh like oh i liked you back then you're like are you kidding me fucker you could have had it like (laughs) say something like i would have like you could have railed me into the wall and that would have been fine i would have met you in the boys bathroom at school like (laughs) listen (laughs) i i i have done it in a car we could have done it in your car like i don't care like why didn't you tell me like (laughs) ah like especially especially when you kind of liked them too but mm-hmm. you were like, no, in your mind, they were like way out of or above or whatever your league said, right. you know, whatever you were at. You're like, There's no way. You find out later and you're like, oh, oh dick. man. Dick. Yeah, I've had that. <laughs> I'm kind of like jumping the gun on going into this topic, but like for people that aren't like gay like I am, you have a little bit more of like experience with the whole um oh, like, I like you, or whatever, just being able to go out and say it, you know what I mean? Whereas, like, I don't I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's it's harder, because, like, you don't know if they if they like you, too, or not. You don't know if they're gay, mm-hmm. and you don't... Oh, for so, sure, like, for sure, yeah. So, like, uh, it, it's kind of okay. like... I was like, where are you going with this? Gotcha, so it's, gotcha. it's kind of like, you have to pass, like, two tests. You're either gonna be like, they do like you? Well, the first one is, are they gay? Are they gay? Or and then the, the first one is, or right. curious, and then do they like you? Right. And then, like, so, like, date, oh, God, because dating, especially nowadays, is hard, not only because there's a pandemic, we can't go anywhere, but, like, e- even before that, it, it's hard, uh, yeah. because, like, you can't just go up to some guy you see in the store and be like, wow, and, like, start flirting, you know what I mean? Everything's digital now. Well, there's that, and then, like, if they're, if they're, like, What's the word I'm looking for? They don't like people of the alphabet mafia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like you're at risk. You know what I mean? Because like, uh, what if, yeah. what, what, what if someone that. like you could be in danger like, in certain circumstances? Yeah. yeah. And the, so like, so like, all I all I can do around where I live is download the like Tinder, Grinder, like those apps, and no one on there wants anything serious. No. 
You know what I mean? Not that I, I don't want anything serious right now either. I am perfectly fine with being single and being with myself right now. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. like... Down the line. Yeah. 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 No, that's a good point. It wouldn't be as... I guess... I have obviously not single, but, like, similar things. So, like, I, I've always loved both women and men. And so I have to think about i haven't approached anybody like that in a long time like of the op of like of the opposite or same sex sorry mm -hmm. um but i i could see how that could probably be <laughs> i mean tiktok has led me way astray on yeah. uh yep. it actually really makes me excited that there are so many more lesbians out there than i thought there were and i'm almost mm. like <laughs> fuck i'm married you know, and so there's moments where it's like, no, I'm being honest. Like, um, so there's moments where I can see, like, there are people who are gorgeous and and personality, though, is usually for thing, the thing for me. So, like, personality is the hottest yep. thing that it goes down to. Yeah. Um, so, it's like, consider myself pansexual. But um, I I could see how that would be, because I haven't had to do it, but I could see how that would be really hard and be a yeah. double test because you don't know and you hope that you're not like again inciting anything right that's like maybe right. negative yeah um now that's wild because yeah if i went to a guy it's either like a gay or nay right and there's no harm done for the most part mm -hmm. right um yeah typically speaking but like i hadn't even thought about that i didn't yeah. thought about that yeah that's rough yeah. i'm sorry <laughs> and then like i yeah. mean like i could go to like a gay bar but there's like number one they're probably not open right now Number right. two, number two, uh, like that's still kind of like oh, like I'm looking for a hookup, hook up, not you know a commitment. I... Yeah, yeah. So like, I do have to say, I do love the the term alphabet mafia, the descriptor at least, <laughs> and I, I want that to stay around forever. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you part yeah. of the alphabet mafia, motherfucker? Like, I just yeah. I want to be like, yeah, I want a fan with that, right? Like a broop, alphabet mafia. Yeah. Like that would be amazing. <laughs> Uh, like, I think that's their first merch idea. Uh, no, right. <laughs> you should do it. See, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a good point. That's a good point. When COVID's all over, we can go back out there. Like, I'm excited to try to like go out there and maybe meet people organically because I don't, I don't want to fucking do it over an app. Yeah. I don't no. because mm -hmm. I because I feel like I feel like there is a little bit more of a chance of meeting someone when you meet them in person like if i if i if i go to the bar and i meet someone there there's a chance but like no one on those apps is ever looking for anything other than like yeah. wham bam thank you ma'am and then you're done you know what i mean yeah yeah and and like and we talked about this the other day where like i am not the kind of person that can wham bam thank you ma'am okay mm -hmm. that's both of you motherfuckers <laughs> we have we have broken men <laughs> No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not like that either, so... Oh, wow, okay. I'll be yeah. the hoe. That's fine. Jesus. Uh, but you're our uh, hoe. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, maybe when this Where is all I over, I can enter guys? my hoe what phase, happened? but... Like... <laughs> what the fuck? I am on the whore pill, so maybe after <laughs> this is all over, we can... <laughs> All right, things I'm writing down from this. Alphabet Mafia, whore pill. All right, all right. Whore, can, whore can, pill, also known as Travada. Let's just put that out there. Can, can, can I be the one to pose with the fan? Absolutely. As, as the straight dude. Yeah, Only if you yes. wear that bunny hat. Yeah, yeah the Brian? Bunny hat. I'm so, bunny hat. Yeah, Brian. I forgot you named him Brian. You got to put glitter in your beard. You have to. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's gonna. <laughs> God, you're gonna no, have craft herpes no. all over your apartment if you do that, though, dude. Cordy, don't shut this down for us. Okay. Yes, don't. Let don't it happen. happen. Okay. Okay. Showing up to work with glitter I beard. I love you to pieces, but I'm gonna need you to time it out. <laughs> I need the glitter beard, okay? <laughs> Fuck yes. Jesus Did Christmas TikTok ruin you in that regard? Yes. <laughs> but also, who do you know? That's like, yeah, I want to do that. Are you kidding me? I mean, it's true. Amazing. Yeah, well, right. Do it. Okay. Okay. Imagine okay. my whole face, like my my whole beard area, looking like a disco ball. Oh my god! Yeah, that'd be oh, so man. cool. That was our first hardcore slide off for this this uh, season. Oh <laughs> hell yeah! We, uh, yeah. We always we always go off can here, but we whoop. <laughs> Welcome to turn. season two. That was a hard one, right? <laughs> It took a hard uh, right turn, yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> so while we're on the, the fact of turning corners, um, <laughs> only because I feel like we're talking about bodies and body language, what's some weird ways <laughs> your body talks to you? I'm just curious. I, I, I am going to let Cordy go ahead and start this one off because you, you look real excited. Please tell me. Oh, I'm not actually excited. But when I get hella stressed, yes. I poop a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I mean, <laughs> you know, listen, though, I learned from phasophobia that jump scares, because you know, are not for me. <laughs> I don't do those kind of games usually. I'm a scared pisser. I've learned this. Oh, no. So I know oh, now no. in, like, the zombie apocalypse, I will need, like, all the Depends possible. <laughs> or, like, a I'll catheter, make sure to have some strapped on my back. Because I'm just going to straight pee. I love, like, your little juice packets, right? Your little... Yep, my juice packets, my bagpipes, on my bicycle. Then my Depends. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I'll have your Depends in case I find you out there. Because I was... <laughs> the first couple of weeks of playing that, I was like, I'll be right back. Because I was like, my bladder was like, oh, you doing good? Scare. And I was like, no, God. <laughs> You're going to need all the Pampers adult. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. But no, I was thinking about this. So like, I have this, so you said you were stressed, you, you poop a lot. When I have, when I'm overly tired or I can't sleep, I get like micro itches. Mm. Where it's like, it's nothing that I feel like I'll have an itch, right? And then like, my hair, of course, which I hate. I hate my curly hair because not because it's bad or curly hair is bad, but because occasionally a curl will just like readjust and it'll tickle my scalp. And I'm like, oh, my mind immediately goes to fucking spiders, which I'll get there in a minute, but fucking spiders. But I'm just like, oh my God, something's on me. And so I get these like micro, I don't know if it's just my body's like, bitch, we're tired. Go the fuck to bed. And I just am not listening, but I'm like, why am I? itchy <laughs> i'm doing fine and the problem is <laughs> just like god damn it i go to bed i get a good night's sleep i wake up itch gone like but if i repeat the same pattern it's like would you like to get itchy hello how are you doing <laughs> and i'm like that's the only weird thing that my body does where it's just like why like, I don't, I don't, you don't make sense. Like, oh, except for when I sneeze, my nipples get hard. But that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> ah, choo! Chicken's done. <laughs> no, they are. And it's probably your, your little brother's favorite thing. But anyway, it's just like, I have, I say that because I, I have been around other women. And women talk about shit like that. We're very open. Yep. Women will go to the bathroom. Women will have diarrhea in front of us. They don't give a fuck. We, women will talk about everything in the bathroom or in close quarters. And none of my friends have the same reaction. So I think I'm a little bit broken <laughs> with my reactions. So does anybody have anything weird besides Cordy and I? You know? Oh, when I get really tired, my buddy goes entirely numb. That's terrifying. Well, doesn't that have something to do with, I don't know, your epilepsy? <laughs> it, I, it might. I don't know. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The way that just sunk into me was Simon realizing maybe there's a glitch in the simulation. <laughs> maybe. Well, maybe there's a logical real. explanation. Maybe, maybe that's the case, Simon. Uh, maybe it's to my buddy going like, hey, buddy, we bought a da. Oh. <laughs> you, better, you better go to bed. You better, you better do it. Like, I know when you're tired, you just like, you, you go from a moment of talking and happy to just 404 not found. And I'm like, Simon, you good? And you're just like, yeah. You, know, you, don't, you, don't even, you don't even have. You just go, yeah. I think my brain's kind of. You just shuts tired. down. And you just and you just it's like almost the longest blink. Like, isn't your eye dry? Like, fucking close that shit and open it back up again. Like, are you okay? Oh. He enters low power mode like an he iPhone. Does. Yes. 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 Power <laughs> saver. <laughs> yeah. Shuts down every feature when not currently yeah. used. Yeah. It's, it was like one of those like eye drops and be like boop boop. Like, you okay? <laughs> Like real concerned. It's like you almost <laughs> want to infuse those eye drops with uh, caffeine, though. Just give them that little bit of boost. Kind of. Like the other part of me is like, well, that or like, oh no, no, you know what I want to do to him? I want to uh, pulp fiction his ass, right? Like, uh -huh. the chest bone, just to, like. <laughs> thinking about, yeah, you know, Uma Thurman oh, obviously yeah. in this, but like, just bring your ass back, you know? Like, yeah, I mean, I kind of want to do that, but at the same time, I want you to go to bed because, like, you're in this standby mode. <laughs> you're just like. 
I'm like, blink, <laughs> blink, motherfucker, blink. <laughs> 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 oh god alright well there's that with your numbness that's terrifying Josh you got anything I think it's weird I don't really know whenever I get like super nervous or on edge I have to go to the bathroom I think that's a flight or fight response really like I I will like before a speech in like high school or something mm-hmm. I would like I would constantly just have to like go to the bathroom like I would I would have to pee like out of nowhere hmm. or something like that. Like I don't I don't know if that's like normal, but that that's something that I I do. I used to do that too before I started when I first started streaming, the nerves would mm. I would be like shit, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought you were going to go with like you were going to like puke, right? Cuz like I I imagined I associate nervousness with like with like puking or pooping <laughs> so i was like peace anyone <laughs> it, it depends on how nervous i am if i'm yeah. really 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 nervous then yeah like my stomach gets all like i get nauseous and i, I almost feel like i have to throw up i don't know that's mine <laughs> <laughs> no you're fine uh, no so I, I mentioned it a minute ago but i'm circling back to fucking spiders mm-hmm. um i i i, I I kind of wish we had Jackson in here for this one. Oh, (laughs) shit. Jesus Christ. We're going to, we're going to unpack that later, but all right. Uh, So I just, okay. So while I'm happy that they're around because then I feel like I'm not dying. I think I told Cordy this at one point. I don't know where the spiders went, but all the spiders in my house just like fucked off for like a month straight. And I was like, did they die? (laughs) Question mark. Is there a gas leak? Question mark. <laughs> Am I actually slowly dying? Because I don't always see them. My house was made like 80 years ago. Um, it's got its charms. We'll say that much. Um, but I would always see them in the corner around, you know, the, they just kind of like did the whole tour de France right around the, the corner between the wall and the ceiling, right? <laughs> over and over, over again. Cool, whatever. If they got low enough, I just, if they stay up there, we I have an agreement. You could just stay. But if you start coming down my wall, you're going to die. So, like, mm-hmm. pick your choice. Wait till I'm sleeping. Something. Um, <laughs> but, like, no, no. I just, I just, uh, the audacity sometimes. These things coming down or crawling on you or being around. I'm like, bitch, you don't pay mortgage here. You don't do anything. Like, you could stay. You could walk all over me. If you, like, chipped in, like, brought me, like, a quarter from the time you came down from the wall. Like, it's fine. <laughs> like, you know what? I will not smash you. Go back on up there. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> like, but, um. God, it's and then my reaction always now. If it doesn't matter what it is, it could be a bee flying around me. If something lands on me, it's automatically a spider. Mm. Like it's like my go-to freak-out reaction when my curl gets too tight. I think it's a spider. Whatever it is, I'm always like spider. And like you know, <laughs> sitting somewhere, and Nato looks over at me like, why is she just like randomly slapping at her arm like a spider? And he's like, babe, what was the last time a spider crawled on you? And I was like, like a year ago. <laughs> and he's like, and he's like, yeah, but like, but you never know. I can't handle it, but no, I was just, I, they, they cracked me up because now they've been coming out of the woodwork, even during stream now, so I'll be standing up during stream, I'll look in the corner and I'm like, yeah, hi guys, how you doing, how I'm just gonna, one moment please, squish, you know, <laughs> <laughs> my dad, I'm like, okay, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good, yep, okay, we're good, thank you, like, no, no, we had an agreement, <laughs> but, Anything spook you guys at all? I know this is a little random topic, but like I feel that's my go-to, like almost like inherent phobia. <laughs> like that is probably my strongest phobia, aside from that falling dream we all have, where you actually like, kick mm-hmm. your foot and you're like, "No, oh my god, I'm not oh, actually yeah, falling because yeah. I'm yeah. laying down." <laughs> I will say that the reason I stopped sleeping naked was because of spiders. <laughs> Oh, what? Cordy, I sleep naked. No. Why? Do you want me to go into this or not then? Well, now, yes. yeah. Yes. I need to know. So I get up one morning and go to the bathroom, lift the toilet seat, you know, the lid, mm-hmm. go to sit down. There's no toilet. There's no spider Spider in the toilet. Mm-hmm. I pee. I wipe. I stand up. I look and there's a spider in the toilet. I don't know if that shit was like all up in my junk or not. So I, since then, I just don't sleep naked. Wait, 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 wait
Mm. You're telling me you have the power to piss spiders? <laughs> and we're just now finding out about this? Hold on. Spider I'm just pain. saying, this probably could have been valuable last year. We had a lot of shit going on, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. What could she do? She could piss spiders, bitch. Like, what Pay us for? money. <laughs> like, come on. What kind of benefit like, would that actually have, though? It doesn't matter. I think, like, like Magneto Sorkis should have alive. invited you into X-Men. Like, what the fuck? Like, help <laughs> she pisses the spiders, bitches. She pisses the spiders. <laughs> Just... It's, like, useless superpowers. <laughs> but terrifying. <laughs> but terrifying, yeah. Yeah, no, that would freak me the fuck out. Yeah. Like, was, he, was he dead, or was he like... No, he was alive. Oh. He was alive. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm so, like... Maybe you yeah, gave no. birth to a spider. Oh, God, no. Oh. Please, no. Josh, no. <laughs> Josh, you, you took that little funny moment and horror mm. it up real quick. <laughs> I sure did. I, that's I, my job. Oh, Hi, Glamo no. del Toro. Can we stop? <laughs> Can we fucking stop? <laughs> Jesus. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> how about we don't okay i'm very yeah. proud of myself I, I, <laughs> and, and you said it so dead ass too like are you okay <laughs> like, how, how about we find an alternative to spiders please <laughs> we need we need an alternative to spiders and then wipe them the fuck out <laughs> and those Christ. lunatics that keep them spiders don't bother me it, i mean like if if i see one in the house i kill it but like I guess it depends on how big the spider is. If the spider is like this, I don't care. If it's like Wait, whoa, if it's whoa, like bitch, this, bitch, that's big. then I'm like, I gotta, I gotta go. Well, like, well, like a huntsman <laughs> spider size. <laughs> but like the, the 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 size you aren't concerned about is the size that I'm concerned about. So I'm like, what do you mean? you don't you don't care about those? Like that's sizable. I mean, I think I'll be like, oh my god, that's a big spider, but like, I'll still like, well, I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> For reference, people who can't see us, he's talking about like a quarter size or a half dollar size. He doesn't care about. He only cares about the ones that are the size of his fucking fist. Yeah. Um, I'm shook. Well, if, it, if it can do this to my face. If it can be a face if hugger. Can, if you, if yeah. it, yes, if it's going to implant a baby xenomorph in you, I can understand how that would be a problem. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> but if I can sit there and just go... Then I'm good. Squish. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, anything bigger than a protein cell scares me the fuck to death. <laughs> I fucking hate spiders, okay? Yeah, same. High five. <laughs> they, they need to die. <laughs> you guys might think I'm weird. I hate ants more than spiders. Okay, I... If, is it from the annoyance factor, or is it because they're destructive or whatever else? Like, because I'll get into food uh, and It's shit. because... As a as a kid, we like had a really bad ant problem. Yeah, and like mm. and like so, um, I'd wake up some mornings and if I left something on my desk, like a can of soda or whatever, swarming, swarming with ants, oh. it's disgusting. And then it is. And, yeah, and then like you don't you don't want to you don't like like I do with a spider, you don't want to smush those fuckers. You don't want to do that because apparently if you smush them. It it like sets off some sort of like dangerous hormone. Uh, not a hormone. I don't know what it is, but like it brings more in. It smells like It brings like corpses. more in. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. wonder why. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, so like you kill one, more just show up. So just a side note, I agree only after I started owning a home. Um and we had it we had no problem the first year, barely a problem the second year. Third year though holy shit i don't know where they came from and we put out these like little honey pot traps for them right so they mm. go in and get the stuff and then go back and die right yeah so <laughs> nate set them up for me in various places and what well, some of them started in here even and we haven't seen them at all this past year by the way so i think we like we slaughtered the whole family um <laughs> I wake up, and he said this whole thing, I took a nap, I wake up, and I'm like, oh, I gotta pee, and I go to walk into my bathroom, and I'm just screaming, Nathan, the top of my lungs, and he's like, yes? And I was like, <laughs> and I was like you told me it was working, and he's like, it is working. You guys, it was out of a movie. They were crawling through here, over here, up oh my the God. wall, to the side, around the corner, you've been in my yeah. house, Around that wall, around inside the bathroom, up and over and across the counter. Because why on the counter? Thank you. On the counter, 
to eat this stuff, and then they went back. It was like a cha 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 cha, and I'm like, oh my god! But there were so many of them. Just, I was like, oh. How often do you see multiple spiders? You know, you know what I mean. But depending, I see probably a couple. There's usually one in this like ceiling track and the one in the living room ceiling track but i mean i mean like at the same time because like i feel like with ants they're everywhere there's never just no, one no that's like what i wolves. always do is i always see i always see one and then i'm like oh it's weird and then a little while later i might see another one mm-hmm. and i'm like oh you're not alone yeah, you're the scouts. <laughs> They're the Fuck. scouts. But yeah. Then, but, then yeah. There, but then there's, but then there's, but then there's that vine of that person killing uh, a spider, and apparently it was pregnant, and then they smushed the oh, spider. Oh, and the then, the oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Brian, protect me. No, that's when you just, <laughs> that's when you just move out. Like, it just, yeah. don't worry Burn about the Brian. Don't worry. No. Yeah, so that was a situation where I had never seen... It was probably, honestly, guys, probably about a thousand ants. I had yeah. never seen that many ants in my entire life, and I was, like, terrified. But by morning, and we we never solved them again. And they all went back down the little cha-cha real smooth under the floor, and they're just they're gone. They just never came back. You know what disrupts their path? Because, like, when they make a path, they also, like, also like let off some whatever mm-hmm. to let everybody know where they're at. You know what disrupts that path? baking soda put it like down along where they're coming out and it th- they'll stop we nuked them like they ain't come, yeah. they haven't yeah. come back like yeah <laughs> <laughs> like we yeah. were like hey we, we played god and we marked them like they're just yeah they haven't they're just gone <laughs> yeah, there was the video a few i think it was a few years ago of the guy who found an anthill and just poured molten metal into yes. it. Yes. Yeah, well, I feel horrible being the one aunt who's like, I'm just taking my little thing to the queen. What's that sound? <laughs> 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 What's burning? <laughs> you know, oh, my family. I, I feel bad they probably got Han Solo carbonated, but like the the cool metal that comes at it with all the little pads is awesome. Right. But like, yeah, Look rip. Good. <laughs> yeah, rip. Yeah, <laughs> rip. Imagine being the one worker who's on his way back and he just sees death pouring from the proverbial sky. No, that's when you're just like, you know what? I think I'm going to call in sick today. (laughs) Turn the car around. Starts putting in applications and new hives. (laughs) You're like, you know what? I saw a piece of gun that looked mighty interesting back that way. I'm going to go check that out. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) There's another anthill in the next neighborhood. I'm going to put in an application. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I know. Courtney's just. I know. Courtney's just over there, like dead oh ass God. silent. But I'm imagining like an ant interview now. <laughs> like, what, are you... <laughs> <laughs> what are your qualifications exactly. for ferrying things from place to place? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any references? No, I have no references. My whole entire ant hill was killed the last time. I survived the apocalypse. The sky was falling and everything. I'm a survivor. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm the only I'm the only survivor. Yeah. Mm, sus. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't play with fire there, but what? No. Oh my god. Oh. Yes, please. That's perfect. I'm sorry. I'm probably driving corny nuts. And then the, <laughs> For and what? Then they try to... You just were like so quiet, like, oh, they're on ant. No, I've got dry <laughs> skin on the back of my hand that I'm picking at. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Well, there's that. <laughs> Spending your time wisely, I see. I am. <laughs> <laughs> it was very uh, scratchy. It's it's okay. We're all just being little bitches. It's really fine. It's, it's, it's speaking it's of really fine. ants and tiny places. Can we talk about the abundance of the rise of tiny homes? I don't know if it's just TikTok or whatever else, but the I converted my van or I converted my Jeep or I converted my bus. Buy a house like a normal person. What the fuck is this shit? Like, why? That's so much work. That's so much work. Why? It's disgusting oh, this is as my well. fridge and my sink and my. It takes you 47 minutes to poop. That's just you bringing the toilet out so you can set the shit up to go to the bathroom. Like, what the fuck is this? And then I pack it all away. And what this side of TikTok like, are you on? <laughs> oh, it's everywhere. I'm, okay, listen, you're thirsty, so I'm going to let you go. But, I like, am. there's actual other, <laughs> other TikToks <laughs> out there. 
I will I will put it into three categories of TikTok. TikTok is like educational in certain circumstances. Yeah. Wow or weird wow, weird, good kind of thing, a combination there. Spiritual. Or, yeah. or thirst traps. And yeah. this is in the wow category. Like wow or wow. Like wow is my reaction because I'm like, really? Another one of you fuckers? And like this one person has like three dogs in a van. And I'm like, woman, woman, no. No, <laughs> it's, just, it's the whole it's the whole idea for swell because you, you see all of those really nice looking. It's all nice looking, yeah, and they make it look so like idyllic, yeah. But reality is that they're gonna have to stop at like places. It's all public bathrooms, yeah, and they need to. Sh- how would they shower? Most of these things don't even have a bathroom or a maybe shower. they have. A, maybe they have a gym membership. Josh, I love I love you. I-, I can't I can't believe you're substantiating this. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm like, what? Planet, it's true. Planet, it's true. Planet Fitness has showers, has toilets, has tanning beds. Like, I mean, and then it's like true. You, it's you're true. not paying for a whole ass house. You're paying for you're you're either paying for the car that you're living in, or it's paid off, and you're paying for a gym membership. And that gym membership is like twenty bucks. It's true. It is true. Yeah. Like logically, yeah. it makes sense. But I wouldn't want to live like that. Yeah, I wouldn't want to live like that either. But if you, like if someone wants to like move to California, let's say California is expensive. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's the only way that they can do if that. And if, if and that's they... a solution, true. As a side yeah. note, a lot of people in California already live in their cars. <laughs> this has been going exactly. on for the last decade yeah. because it is yeah. so expensive. But I mean, people, I think the thing that gets me fucked is like people who just like had a nice life, like, okay, in my mind, this might, their life might still be nice, but like had a nice house, life set up and they were just like, yeah, sold our house and all of our assets are moving into this little cardboard box. So I'm like, no, uh-huh. <laughs> like, I physically melt like as much shit as I've learned out of my first house that I'm like, I won't do this again or this again. I, I need a stable place to shit, number one. Number two, I don't need to Autobots roll out, make my bed every day, and back to be able to use half of my house. You know, I'm mm-hmm. like, no, I, I just... And I saw someone the other day that I almost lost my mind. It was a Jeep Wrangler. It was a soft top Jeep Wrangler. Oh, God. That they lived in. And I was like, TikTok, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> First of all, have you ever been in a Wrangler? It's like this big. Like, secondly, no. No. And it's like, yeah, you just fall out of the passenger seat and have this one little twin bed. And I was like, no, that's not enough. No. And you just tailgate off the back of it for when I'm working. And I'm like, I, A, I would get nothing done because I would be ridiculously uncomfortable. And <laughs> I drink way too much coffee and not have, like, a, a nearby place to instantly just go to the bathroom. I'm like, ah, uh, no. I, I just it's, it's more of a fact that they're like... Oh, well, yeah, we're traveling the country. Yeah. And yeah. that. And I'm sitting there like, you're on the highway and you all of a sudden need to take a shit. Yeah. And your partner's sitting there just, hold it in, buddy. There's a Planet Fitness next town over. <laughs> well, what do you do? What do you do when you're up, when you're like, because like we would drive from where I live to Florida, Fort Myers, which is like all the way down at the end of Florida. And you're on a road trip. You stop at a McDonald's. Or you stop at a gas station, or you stop at a restaurant. That's how you poop. That's how you poop. Mm-hmm. But but the difference is that this is how you live. Then that's how you live. It's just it's 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 weird and it's uncomfortable. Like I, I and I'm I'm team slam on this one because like I I think they're cool as fuck for camping or occasional True. stays. Like if you're like hey for the next two or three weeks between like classes or or, or we're going on a family vacation. We're going to go across the country and back, which is fine. And you, that's what you sleep in. You save a whole bunch of money. Cool. But then you come back to, like, uh, you know, an actual, like, brick and mortar house mm-hmm. or apartment or whatever else. It just seems crazy. But I just, <laughs> I realized that I don't have the quintessential Midwest experience, as I'm sure Cordy and Josh have had. My family did never did that whole drive from here to Florida thing, which Mm-mm. is what a lot I of never Midwest did. families did. Uh, we always flew if you're going anywhere. So I'm yeah. like, oh god, I would have died. My little ADHD ass. I don't know how you survived that, because you're similar to me. <laughs> I I had never been on a plane until I was 26. Oh, ever. Wow. We we would we would drive everywhere we wanted to go. <laughs> My first plane ride, I was six weeks old. Sorry, passengers. <laughs> yeah, it probably sucked. Oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't help you now. So no, I've been flying my entire life. So like anything over four hours for me is a negative. I will fly. 
I can't, I can't keep patience long enough to do anything. Mm-hmm. I don't think, I think now, now that I'm older and I can like finance myself, like, yeah, if I want to go somewhere, I'm going to fly. Because I think, I think when you think about it and it takes from where I live, at least the gas, it takes two days to get down to Florida from where I live. If you're driving so, like, alone. And if you're you, driving alone. Yeah. Yeah, if you're driving alone, it takes two days. There's gas, there's food, there's having to stop at a hotel, which can be expensive. You know what I mean? It's almost it's like it almost adds up to be about the same. You know what I mean? Like there and back. That's all I had to say. That's all I had to say. About <laughs> but I mean, I mean, like my only argument for the people that do have those tiny homes and stuff, like you don't know that, like maybe that's not by choice you know what i mean no 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 like, sometimes it's a necessity yeah. and, and yeah, that i yeah. get i think i think that tiktok is just and again it's something that i'm hopelessly engaged with but like mm-hmm. it's Same. it showed these like glamour like i feel like every other day i'm seeing someone who's doing something new like that and i'm like i get that pandemic projects have been scaled upwards from what they may have originally been because people are home mm-hmm. and they're like i've got nothing to do so now we're going to do everything mm-hmm. and i'm like yeah. okay so, like, but I just keep seeing these, and I'm like, I don't know, guys. Like, this is going to wear off quick. Also, why are you living out of your car in a pandemic? Like, maybe, I mean, granted, unless you have to. Right. Probably not the best idea to go around a random Planet Fitnesses nowadays and just a shower. <laughs> could be sketchy, could get COVID. And not to mention, every state has different laws. Even cities themselves can right. have different laws. You have to keep up on all the stuff with where you're going. Yeah, that's a lot to. Re- you got a great point. It's a mm-hmm. lot to remember what's happening as it is right now on a per state basis. We're not federally one at way or the other. At least in the U.S. So, yeah, this is why we're still fighting COVID. And I guarantee you, by the time this episode comes out, we're still fighting COVID. Hopefully, by the time the episode comes out, the people that are like on the front line of everything have gotten like their vaccines, and now we moved into having to other people getting it too. Well, fun help. fact. Um. The way, the way Michigan is laid out, at least, I will not be eligible to get a vaccine until I think it was May. But you should. You should be able to get it sooner. Cause nope. Aren't you? But no, because it's high risk over 65 they're worrying about first. I'm high risk under 65. That's weird because Same here. Category. here, But it's different. Here they're letting people do it in the second wave. Yeah, no. No, yeah. it's every Especially state's different. Since we're yeah. both at home right now too. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, so it's like until May rolls around, you know, they're not even going to start vaccinations on people. You know, like it's going in waves. First, it's frontline healthcare workers, and then it's frontline people, and then high risk over sixty-five, and then there's other little breakdowns too within there. But I fit within the wave that starts in May. And even then, I probably won't get it until July or August due to demand and supply. Supply and demand. You know? Yeah. It's it's a long road. It is a very long road coming. But, yeah. And I know that we are, at least. But, like, people, you just gotta be fucking patient. Mm-hmm. Like, like I, I, I'm not like, I'm not like a, I'm not like a frontline worker, I'm not like a front. Uh, I'm not like a frontline worker, but I have to call people when uh, they test positive for COVID, mm-hmm. or and call the people that they po- they've been around and tell them that they've been exposed. Like I, I've I've had people that ignore it, it completely ignore the fact that they need to isolate because they're not showing any symptoms. Mm-hmm. And you, like I don't know how many times a day I have to go and be like, it doesn't matter that you're not showing these, that you're not showing symptoms. You are still able to spread this thing. Mm-hmm. So the point is to stay home, wear a mask wherever you go, because it, you're not protecting yourself; you're protecting others. Exactly. Sorry, I'm getting yeah, very, yeah, yeah. I'm getting very passionate about it because no, I have to do this listen, every fucking day. Uh, honestly, and, honestly, yeah. I think you should. I think everybody should be. So we shouldn't have this yeah. problem anymore. But like yeah. the thing that I the recently that people have been such a dickhole about is like, well, I've been vaccinated, so I don't have to wear a mask anymore. And it's like that's not how it works. <laughs> I love that you think that this is over and it just uh, yeah the other annoying thing is that like people aren't listening to what the cdc is telling people yeah no. and like some 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 businesses are like you need a negative test to be able to come back to work yeah and i have to be like no you don't need a negative test because 
and for the next 90 days because of the antibodies in your system you can still test positive mm -hmm. but you're not contagious mm -hmm. you know what i mean so oh fuck i didn't even think about that yeah 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 Oh no, yeah. that could fuck a lot yeah. of people out of work. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. no. Yikes. Yeah, I'll just stay inside. <laughs> and then and then specifically where I live, specifically where I live in the county that I live in. Yeah. Uh some people some states, some counties have adopted the early release thing. What is and that? Like I, I don't I don't know I don't know what the stipulation is, but like usually it's if you if you test if you test positive, well, I went way off oh, topic. Oh, 10 days, if, if, right? Versus 14 yeah, days? If, yeah. Yeah, if we you, have that yeah. too. Test yeah. positive, it's 10. If you're just been around someone, it's 14. And then the the thing, and I, I, I sympathize with people, I really do. So it's like a mom, a, a dad, and like two kids, and the kid, and like one of the kids tests positive, right? And then, and then somehow the dad doesn't test positive, like at all, like he's fine yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. But everybody else in the family does. He has to go off of his quarantine, his 14 days do not start until the last day of the of the person that's positive. Yeah. Jesus. Is out of isolation. Yeah. We, then he, we have then that his here quarantine too. starts. Yeah. But he has to quarantine the entire time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like a month yeah. for him, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have that too. Which, I mean, hopefully in that situation, hopefully... Uh, you know, they can work from home, but I know a lot of people can't, so it's, it's a, it's a mixed bag. Yeah. It's, yeah. and it, it's so crazy because, like, we're still trying to figure out how the fuck this thing works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, it can hit people so differently. It can, it can hit them and not do anything to them. It could hit them and it could kill them. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, which happened to my grandma, so... Yeah. Do not tell me. Do not tell me that it's not real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. It's it's a <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Valentine's Sorry. Day. <laughs> yeah. I I had to get on, I had to get on my soapbox there for like, a little bit. I guess. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think it was. A, I don't think it was a soapbox. I mean, we talk about a lot of funny shit and goofy shit and side tangents, but like, it's an honest thing that's still going on and it sucks and mm -hmm. yep. we all, it's like you all want, want it to be we all want place. out of this we, oh yeah we all want we it do. to be over absolutely follow follow yeah. the rules yeah. and eventually we're gonna get there yeah. be patient that's all i'm asking that is all i'm asking for people like show some consideration for your fellow people mm -hmm. what do you think is right to normal so you can make use of that horror pill with the alphabet mafia yes okay yes <laughs> so i need to get just, trust me. You need a D Marcia, appointment. I get it. Marsha. Marsha, I need dick just as much as you. You can wait as long as I've waited, okay? Yes. Preach, Mary. girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, man. So, if we were to try to find you on social media, oh, God. Simon... Oh God! <laughs> Where would we find you? I am on Twitter <clears throat> at Warriors Lacy. I'm also on Twitch as Lacy Warriors. I'm on Instagram and on TikTok as well under the same name. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause! Thank you. He got it right. <laughs> Those who don't know what we're talking about, listen to season one. Um, yeah. <laughs> Cordy, where can we find you, babes? You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok, all of them at Cordelia Chase, C-O-R-D-I-L-I-A, Chase. Taking it over to Joshy over here. You can find me over on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitch as Joshua XD. You can also find me over on Twitter as the Joshua XD because some asshole just took the name that doesn't have the the there. So there's that. Mm -hmm. And you, you might even be able to find me on YouTube soon. What about you, Renvi? Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm just going to give my Twitter because I don't remember everything else. So that is just <laughs> Renegade G, and it's R-H-E-N-E -E, um, on Twitter. And you can have links to everything else from there. I would just like to point out. <laughs> Sorry, let me, I'll let you finish, but I want to point out something. No, it's okay. <laughs> um, in the interim, we would love to hear from you guys. We have a streamless Twitter. And that is streamless P. Um, capital letter P, email us, streamlesspod at gmail.com. 
And we're also on YouTube. And uh, we also have, uh, or will have, or do have, a Twitch site. So yeah. um, we're probably going to use more of that this year. Um, but stay tuned. Go ahead, Josh. What do you have? Oh, I was just going to say how we give Simon crap for never remembering where what his names are and stuff on social media. And then Renvy is like, I don't know all my stuff. Go to my Twitter. It'll be fine. <laughs> but the thing is, all of her stuff is linked to her Twitter, so it's fine. That's true. That's true. Yeah, she's got... Maybe we need to get on her level. I don't want to say a thousand things. I'm like, just go to Twitter, guys. Like, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's really just so I can be shorter. <laughs> like, that, that's yeah. all. Um, but yeah. So, welcome to season two, everybody. Yay. Season fucking two. Yay! Yay. Oh, that. Wee! <laughs> awesome. See you next time. Awesome. Awesome. Bye. Bye.